Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Workers and Resources Soviet Republic People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture 100, number 199. Cheers. It's 200. Uh, nah, it's going to be a bit more than 200, I think. But but this time, you know what we're doing? We're taking a tour. I prepared a little Volvo here, Volvo 240, for for doing a tour. And uh, let's get going. Again, this is not how an engine of a 240 is supposed to sound. We start off by, by going uh, over the very nice uh, road, maybe the nicest road that we have in, in the land. Uh, yes, there you are. Uh, uh, good suspension on these. Uh, live rear axle, nothing fancy, multi-link uh, mambo jumbo. Right, would you go and refuel? Yes, very good for you. Oh, where are we heading? I, I'm not quite sure, you know. Uh, I've, I sort of forgot because it's been a while since I set up the route for this. Yes, this is uh, the. This is where it all began with this construction office and so on. That's why we went here. And uh, I suppose we're going out to the oil refineries. It would only make sense. Just check that whilst we're here that they are indeed running at 100% capacity, both of them, and they have fully stocked up on oil, which is fantastic. Are you even going to visit the oil refinery? Oil refinery number two here. Refinery number one. Okay, what's next on the agenda? I don't, I don't know. But we'll see. Quite busy here in the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture proper town. Uh, people walking around all over the place. Should we try a first person view maybe? Let's see, what, let's see what that brings us. Ah, overtake the Gatham lorry. Can't see anything here. No, that ah, wasn't any good. Currently we're going to the steel mill to check, check that place out and uh, the steel mill is running at uh, 50%. Uh, completely reasonable load for a steel mill. Here we don't need that much steel. Chemical plant running at 100%. Very good. I wonder what the pollution's like out here. <laughs> it's probably quite terrible. This one though, this is not running at 100%, but it's running at something and it, it, it is helping. That's apparently where we're going next. Ah. 
And this tour will take us out to the most remote oil derricks in, in the land. But I suppose that we'll swing by Utopia first, since, since we are sort of in the vicinity. So if we could also have this car in, the, in a, as a police car, with the with the li same livery as as they had in in Sweden, Sweden, Sweden during the time, uh, the 240 police car. Yes, that would be nice. No, not that it would make a whole lot of sense in a Soviet Republic, maybe, but who cares? It would look nice. People do care about such things. But I just want a, a 240 police car. Yes, we're going by the nuclear power plant where they have they are fully stocked on nuclear fuel. Uh, waste the waste management truck is uh, standing around uh, there. Currently, this will cost us three thousand seven hundred seventy-three dollars to get rid of the nuclear waste. Quite affordable. Yes, this is Utopia Town. But uh, there are many, many tall buildings here. And lots of people in them. Do we even visit the, like the food industry? I don't think that we do, or the meat industry. No. We apparently visit the bus platform of the, the of Utopia. Do we get any passengers? Yeah, we got five five workers on board. Not that they'll. Uh, I don't think they'll find a place to work. But they get to travel in in, in a nice car. For it, still being stuck behind the same bus that they would otherwise have been on. There we go, heading out. Perhaps, or we're going to the airport. Maybe we are going to the airport. That's the people get off. Yeah, they got off. Ah, but well, we got five other people. Now it seems that we're heading out to more sparsely populated and less developed areas. I think that this was the first bridge that we built. Yes, it was. Try to get it tall enough to so the chips could pass underneath, and they can. Not all, but plenty enough of them can pass underneath. If I were to do it again, I would have had it like 10 meters taller or something. But uh, yeah, it's been working for uh, for what now? Uh, 1960, 95 years. Yeah. That's, that's good enough. And here, here really is what it is all about. We had the oil refineries first, but uh, this is where it comes from. This is where the petroleum comes from. All over the place here. So we have 
so much petroleum in the ground and every single one of this um, except that one and that one is exploited and being pumped extracted so much so that a pipeline is not one pipeline is not enough to contain all the or transport all, all the petroleum we have a, a rail train set up to handle that out here is the uranium mine we seem to have quite a few workers in there are we sure you need that many workers for this yeah we're, we're exporting and selling nuclear fuel too that doesn't make economical sense to do it's good that we can make our own fuel for our own nuclear power plants definitely but it's a lot of faff and it's not worth it when you, when you are the proletarian people's petroleum prefecture if we didn't have the petroleum then it might have been worthwhile I just look at all these oil derricks all around the place We seem to be headed out. Now oh, we're heading out here. We're heading out to, to like... Yes, this is uh, the, the latest. This was the latest addition too. And last, therefore also the last addition to the pumping network. This is where we're headed, headed now, I think. I think it's pretty damn good looking, this game in its in its way. It's a bit crude graphics, but it serves its, its purpose and it looks right for what it is. What sort of frame rate do we have here? 45 frames per second. Good. This must be a diesel model, and that's not a proper Volvo then, because that's a Volkswagen uh, engine. Huh. And these diesel ones. Oh, you want to be 230 engine. That is like the uh, the petrol equivalent of the Mercedes OM617. Uh, Undeadly. On, on uh, kill uh, you can kill them yes but they they, they last a goddamn long time <laughs> to say the very least and also this is when when Volvo was still b building proper cars with a longitudinally mounted engine driving rear wheel wheels via a live axle well, the live axle you could have multi-link if you had a 960 for example you had an independent rear suspension that's not the point the point is that it drives the rear wheels and, and the engine is correctly mounted and there are plenty of space under the hood bonnet to do work to actually work on stuff to get to stuff it's all easy to get to but the 940, 960, that's the last proper Volvo. After that, it's just a piece of fucking oops, uh, junk. Here's what it is. Front wheel drive crap. Uh, don't want that. Might as well buy a Toyota or a Honda or something. The 240, the 740, and the 940, those are proper Volvos. And the 760, I suppose, or the 960, if you want to be a bit more fancy. But these are supposed to be utilitarian vehicles, too. They're great comfort. They, they, yeah, just really good cars. If you like them. There, there are people who don't. Uh, I, I am not one of those who don't. 
actually own two 940s. Non, none of them is my daily driver though, but uh, one is my sort of summer car and uh, one is um, one is the spare parts car for, for that one, but since they're old, since they're both old timers now and therefore don't uh, actually cost anything to have registered and on the road, at, at least as, as far as tax goes, you still have to pay pay uh, insurance of course, but uh, I'm thinking of fixing up that spare, spare parts car and trying to get it road legal again. Another benefit of having an old timer, well, that's when they are 30 years or older, is that you only have to, to do the MOT or the besickening every other year. That's a great relief. I said, fucking hate those people. <sighs> yeah, the, those are terrible, terrible, terrible men. Uh, I don't think I ever had, have, have ever had a woman inspect my vehicle, so therefore I I can uh, say that they are terrible men. Hmm. Yes, that, so that was sort of the end of that bit out there. Now we're going back the same road where we came. to we'll see what we take down here, because we, we will be going by the coal coal mining industries uh, and everything. I wonder how long this, this tour will last and how much fuel do you have? 93 liters left. That's more than this car actually has. I guess it, you could get them with a 70 liter tank or something. Yeah, but it works differently in the Soviet Republic. Now you realize that I need to refuel. How, how were you going to go for that then? I think there is a fuel station down here by the the little complex of uh, of uh, construction offices and such. It shouldn't be so too far away. But there may well be spots on the map where where it simply is too far away for a fuel station, and and then we we might have a an interruption to this tour. There you go, you found it. Good for you. Now, where are we going next? What do we have here? We have um, oil, more oil lyrics pumping away. Uh, oil pumping stations, a uh, uh, little uh, fire station, and uh, technical services for keeping the roads clear in winter time. And there's been quite a bit of oil exploitation going on, I have to say. to this oil field just to turn around maybe could be the case could well be the case uh, yeah, seems seems like it uh, again no uh, notify the affiliates we are drawing over here I don't know how long time this Volvo is going to take to drive around the place but uh, whatever time it takes that's the time it uh, takes and that's the length of the episode that's where we went to that power substation for some reason substations can be set as uh, destinations for, for for vehicles but oil lyrics cannot. That's why we're turning around at uh, substations. Uh, 
What speed are you doing here? 110 km per hour. Very good. Incidentally, that's uh, that's a, like the, the optimal cruising speed for at least the 940 and I would suppose the 240 as well. It's where you get the most speed and uh, if you go above that speed, uh, keep it between 110 and 120. If you go above that speed, you, your fuel economy goes, goes to, to hell. And you basically have to, the time you make up by a game by higher speed, you lose because you have to stop quite often to, to refill the tank. And it's also, it's extremely goddamn expensive nowadays to, with, with petrol, you know, with benzene. It's extremely goddamn expensive and di don't, diesel is even worse. Two euro fifty per liter we have to pay here. That's, that's fucking insane. That is fucking insane. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, if I were to have, to, if if I would have to drive to work every day, which I don't, luckily, uh, can work from home. I only need to go into the office once per week. But if I were to have to go each and every day, that, it, it would not make economical sense to work under these circumstances. I. Uh, uh, 55 kilometers to to work, so that's like the the first couple of hours or so of that workday is just to pay off the fuel to get there and back again. Ah, oh, I mean, yeah, that feels real motivating. Ah, here we can see a bit of the rail track, of the tour tour track being built, or that has been built. Lots of level crossings on it. That's okay, because there won't be a lot of traffic. Now, the question actually remains if there will be any traffic on it. Uh, see if we can get a hold on, whilst we're traveling along here, if we can get a hold on of the uh, list of buildings. The rail construction office, railroad construction office, could be that we need to assign. No, you have two. You're working on two two railroads, so you should be fine. More oil derricks pumping away. What else? Oil is not building up here. Very good. System is working. That's well it should. And here, the, yeah, it's it's getting to be a little bit of a waste for them to travel now to to lay in the rail. So that's why it's it's taking taking some time. Now here we have a, yet another oil field. Wouldn't you know it? Oh, here and here is a um, train diesel station, which which has not been built yet. Let's sign that. As we're driving by. How much fuel do you have? I have plenty of fuel. Great. I know that there is a gas station on the way after coal, uh, on the way to uh, to the farms somewhere. I think there is a gas station. We, um, with some luck, we might make it there. Otherwise, we will have to abandon this car at the side of the road for the time being. Uh, even more uh, tour railroad, whenever that will be completed. It will take a while. That could almost be my catchphrase here, or the subtext, or what, what, whatever it's called for, for this series. It's going to take a while. That would be a while. It's, it's very slow work. It takes forever. And so on. I seem to be saying that a lot, I think. Such is it in the Soviet Republic. There we can see the coal ore processors and uh, the dust emanating from them. It 
did it stop because of draw distance? Now we're actually getting closer. It stopped maybe because there are no workers in, or there isn't a ship to load onto, or... Ah, never mind. It'll work itself out. More oil lyrics, more power pylons, power lines, power cables, pumping stations. Actually, all of this uh, oil derricks and pumping stations and so on are hooked up to one and the same pipe going into the oil refineries. And with these many of them, it, it exceeds the capacity of a pipeline. 10 tons of oil per second it can transport. Now we're doing sl just a tad more. So every now and then we get the train to go and make up for, for what's missing. Now we have night time again, sun is setting, sun has set. Now we're driving slower, 82 kilometers per hour in night time. I mean, you have high beams. These cars have ex excellent um, uh, headlights, you know. You don't need to be driving so slowly just because it's um, dark. Where are we going now? I think we're going to another extreme. Yeah, this is the, the furthest, other uh, furthest extreme of the oil field. This is as far as south as it goes, I think. Yes, if that is indeed south. How far have we gotten on this tour? I mean, I think that we, we made it about two-thirds of the way. Something thereabouts. go a bit of first person out here maybe where it is a uh, lot less crowded on the roads there less crowded there, there is no traffic whatsoever no the, the only purpose of the road was to be able to construct everything and uh, other than that it's not used for a whole lot not even used for uh, firefighting because that's taken care of by a helicopter Now we're heading into coal mining town. Then we should exit this uh, first person thing so we can get a little bit better overview of what's going on out here. There's the airport where we bring workers in. On the right here as we see it. And on the left is the coal mine and four coal ore processors. Apparently we're, yeah, we're visiting the mine. There you go. Also, there is a brick factory around here somewhere. There is the brick factory. I don't know how much sense that makes in the Soviet Republic that all you need to make bricks is coal. I don't know how that works but uh, it works that way so, whatever <clears throat> but there is nothing happening here no there are no workers ah airplane issues maybe yeah they don't come as often nowadays as they used to because since we have the third airplane that goes up to the mountain with with a few people every now and then to visit the opera yeah but we, we, we get enough coal as is for it to keep our steel production in, in coal. And here we can see future 
Tour Railroad. Uh, plenty of bridges and things. As, uh, uh, takes a while. Now, about here somewhere, we should be coming up on, on a petrol station. And I really hope that you do take the opportunity. There it even says diesel station. I hope that you take the opportunity to fuel up when we're around here. And you should. Construction office, uh, fire station, technical services, power substation, medium voltage wires, future uh, railroad, fields, fields, fields. It's a shame it's, it's uh, late autumn here and uh, all the fields have been harvested. This, this part would have been nicer in springtime when they are plowing the fields and they are starting to grow. Yeah, but it is what it is. Now, will you do a refute? Ah, you go straight past it. Of course you do. And then when when this when you juice, juiced up just a little bit more fuel, then you realize I need to refuel. And let's just hope that we're still within range of of that petrol station by then. Oh, you're taking this road apparently through the fields. These trucks, I believe, are transporting crops. Uh, Ole resources, crops, yes they are. So even if the fields are, are harvested at this time and not a whole lot exciting to look at, we can still see that the, the lorries are doing the thing and getting the crops into silos at farms and then other lorries take it take it from those silos here down to the harbor where it gets put on a ship and shipped up to people's proletarian petroleum prefecture proper where it might go into uh, fru food it might go into feeding livestock uh, and become meat and or it might go into uh, the chemical factory and become plastic or uh, electrical components uh, and, and make a television or radio in the end anything else or, or it could become clothing too yeah lots of stuff use for this stuff this is good stuff this props and now you have realized that you need to refuel and you're going all the way back there i, I think speed you up maybe a little bit this so way we've already been through this past it just recently and your fuel tank was like a quarter left or something why not take the opportunity to just pop in and fill it up the refueling algorithm is one of the one, one of the top annoyances in this game but you can work around it nowadays since you can bring fuel to, to distribution offices and construction offices and so on so it's much less of a problem than, than it used to be but it's still uh, pretty stupid for situations like this when it doesn't have a workplace with a fuel supply We're gaining on, on the lorry. It's only doing 94, we're doing 109. Do you think that we'll do an overtake? Uh, not now, that would be very unsafe. Now maybe. 
I don't want to be stuck in the, in the fumes of this one. It looks uh, awful. The hell is, is there something wrong with with this truck? Also, the exhaust doesn't actually seem to be coming from the exhaust pipe. It seems to be coming from the trailer. It's a wheel locked or something. It's a burning rubber, maybe. Whatever is going on. Oh, here, here is uh, finished uh, tour rail track. Wonderful. Oh, this is sort of crop central. This is where it all ends up. We have 40,750 tons of crops in this silo. Very good. No ship in though, but uh, one ought to be coming at some point or other. Nice to overtake whilst he, he was making a left turn. Very safe maneuver to do. And here we're climbing up on, on another bridge. Whilst the tour railroad is uh, taking that route. This is the, yeah, this railroad I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out for, for transporting the oil that won't fit in the pipe. Did take a while to build, but I'm, I'm happy with the, the outcome. How much more uh, further do you have to go here? Uh, we ought to be... Uh, I think that we're about to be finished. Because we are coming up on, on the town again. Uh, yeah, yet more oil directs, wouldn't you know it? Uh, there's a substation that we made a stop at. Okay. Yes, it's, it seems as though we are making our way towards more densely populated and developed places yet again. Frame rate, 20 frames per second. What the hell? I have the latest and greatest in CPU now. What the... F For fuck's sake. I'm swearing a lot this evening. I'm sorry. Pardon me. Just a bit frustrating when you spent a bit of money and... Uh, yeah, sure it has improved, but uh, ah, damn it, it should have a better improvement. In my humble opinion. Yeah, again, if, if the, the game would actually utilize, because the, the total CPU usage now, the, for, for the entire CPU, is like 6% <laughs> or something of its entire potential. Whilst uh, one or two cores is working pretty hard, there's a lot more it could do. There could it be bitumen or fuel. It is bitumen. And uh, one of those nowadays is worth 73 million, 73 and a half million dollars. Now we're coming up on, on the... On Utopia again. Do we go through town or what do we do? Ah, it would appear so. A school in Utopia. It, uh, it has a good balance. It's just right. Children are getting the proper attention and tutoring. 200 workers at the bus platform. Very good. Uh, two. 
Oh, no, that way you didn't. Finally did an overtake. And here is the elevated train track that uh, supplies workers to, to the oil refineries. Uh, it didn't turn out completely fantastic, but it is what it is. It is the Soviet Republic. This is not transport fever. You can't build stuff like that here. But if here is more like if you can get it to accept what it is you're proposing at all, then, then you're happy and you accept it, even if it looks a bit wonky. But that's also the charm of this game. The wonkiness and, and the silliness and all of that stuff. Heating plant is, is running nicely, I would say. This, this one single heat, heating plant heats up like all of this. All of this. I don't know how many, we have like 20,000, we can check here, how many citizens are being heated by this um, population within two kilometers. Utopia has 22,500 and PPPPP has uh, 12,000, so about 30, 34,000 people are being heated by that heating plant. Very good. What are you up to now here, little Volvo? Uh, are you getting stuck in traffic or have I asked you to stop around here somewhere? Yes, here, here is the old, old school that burnt down way in the beginning, like episode 3 or 4 or something. And it really was the hard challenge. It hasn't been that hard for, for quite some time since we have... We were quite opulent. We have opulence in many things. Did we get passengers? We got five passengers. Police station, are you keeping up with the, the crimes? Yeah, I'd say so. Are we doing yet another stop at the oil refinery? So what's this? This is only running at half capacity. Ah, uh, the hell. What about the other one? Not a whole lot more. What's up with that? That, that That's incorrect. Now where are you going now, Cor? I oh, can see here, I can check. Vavkavisk electric substation, you're going to? Where the hell is that? And then you go into depot. Vavkavisk. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, that's all the way down there. Nah. I mean, we, we've already been down there. Uh, screw that. And instead go to, to the back to the depot and then we'll be happy with this tour 43 and 44 minutes god damn it Time for one more song of the soundtrack. And I think I'll employ uh, yet another uh, plane to bring more tourists in. Yeah, I think so. Is there some issue here that, you know, you have 416 workers on board. That should be plenty. And now it's running at 100% again. Now there's two. Very good. Okay, it's every now and then. That it is not running constantly at 100%, but close enough. Close enough. 
And you're getting close to your depot, aren't you? Yeah, it's over there. And then tour is over. Dear ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you so very much for watching and following along the tour here with the, the Volvo 240. Don't get stuck now on, on your final bit. Oh, you're good. And um, I wish you, uh, should we say anything else? Uh, well, next episode is number 200. Do you want to do something special for, that? for 200? Ah, I don't know. I'm not very good with that. Those things sort of happen when they happen. We did a tour now with the car. I could do, uh, do a tour, you know, like this. If you activate the deb debugging mode and then hit Hit, hit the little key combination you, and you have an Xbox 360 controller, you can do this and you can get some pretty nice shots. That could be episode 200. Maybe. That could, yeah, it could be. I'm just stalling for time now here whilst the song is an ending. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. I will have to think of something for episode 200. It might not be anything special at all. We'll see. Good night.